So here we are. At recording the... live on yeah. Filipina Recorded Live. We're giving you a little taste of the Philippines on the ground. Boots on the ground! Boots on the ground! <laughs> See? Look, this girl in front of us, she's sitting side saddle on the motorcycle. I find that interesting. <laughs> I, I think if you hit a bump, you're going to fall off. That's what I think. But we're going downtown into what I call the maze. Once you turn off this main highway here, this main road, it's like you're in all these side streets of these little vehicles, the bow bows and the trikes and all these things. Look at this guy, see, they're coming out in front of me. Am I supposed to stop or go? I feel like I need to stop because they're halfway out in front of the lane. So I'm stopping here. I never know what to do sometimes. But yeah, we're going into the maze, the side roads, downtown. And usually traffic is crazy. Today is Sunday, so it's not too bad. What do you think, Mahal? Yeah. It's quiet because there's no place. Yeah, so what you're seeing today is not really typical, I guess. Maybe I should have filmed on another day. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sunday, Tomorrow. sometimes sometimes Saturday and Sunday, they're not as busy. But it'll give you an idea of, you know, uh, driving around in the Philippines. Especially the maze. We're about to turn soon. See uh, this big Catholic church to the left. Yes. And that, that's where we were, that big church right there we were there when we inadvertently attended a funeral yes. <laughs> we didn't mean to um, and on the right you see there's McDonald's coming up in Jollibee and two guys on a motorcycle that wanted to come out and hit me but they stayed thank you Lord McDonald's and Jollibee coming up we frequent this McDonald's a lot so if you're in our area you just go to McDonald's and you'll probably see us there <laughs> we're just there turn, a lot. Just turn and McDonald's. Turn McDonald's, okay. So we're about to enter the maze. It's amazing. Um, like I said, today is Sunday, so there might not be as much traffic here today, but usually this place is like... This is how we go and run for the chicken. Yeah, see all the chickens in the truck? Wow. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Different. McDonald's on the right. Now, all these side roads, cars, little trikes, motorcycles, everybody going everywhere at the same time. It's really quite interesting. I'm just letting you uh, see a little bit of this downtown area. The old buildings. You see the wiring? Look at the wires. Yes. It's like there's... Uh... When you see like this, it means you are in the Philippines. <laughs> you think somebody really understands how to get up there and adjust these wires? <laughs> I don't know. They're pretty crazy I'm trying to uh, cross this road. Like I said, the traffic on Sunday really is not bad. I'm probably doing this on recording on a bad day because to show you what it's really like. Or maybe it. it's because look at the weather. Turn uh, left, Mahan. Because earlier it's raining. Yeah, well, that's true too. It was raining. Jump up in front of me, lady. Ladies. And gentlemen. Uh, okay, nothing coming in. This is pretty lame today. It's not, that, not so busy because this road that we're, we're on so right now, to... this is the bank. Let me just cut this left. The, the bank here is usually really, really crowded. I'll stop back here. And we'll watch Mahal go into the bank. That's really exciting. Look at her purse. It's filled with so much money. I have to ask for money. <laughs> I can't have some money, I, dear. I just told him um, b before we leave that he's really handsome and I need money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Really handsome. And I then, need money. <laughs> yeah. Those two sentences go together frequently. Oh, you're so handsome. Well, can I have some money? <laughs> But the fact of the matter is, she's usually the one with the money, and I'm the one saying, Ha, huh, beautiful, you're so beautiful, can I have some money? <laughs> there she goes. This is the downtown. This is the bank that she frequents quite a bit. So, just giving you a little, you know, like I said earlier, boots on the ground, kind of a, you know, continuous streaming videos, what we do on uh, this channel, as opposed to our other channel, which is a little bit more edited. But usually, I guess I really did pick a bad day today to record this because usually this street here, it's like jam-packed with all these little vehicles. 
and other vehicles and it's like bumper to bumper traffic in all these little streets downtown it's just crazy so i'm not really showing you a good present a representation i should say of how it normally is so i guess the upside of it is if you want to travel like this and you don't want all that traffic just travel on sunday <laughs> i think saturday is not too bad either saturday, saturday is pretty good but uh, sunday really seems amazing so here comes another one we wrote a lot of these in our uh, going around town that's why the car is so much better, in my opinion. So I'll pause this and we'll continue somewhere else in our travels. These are these shops downtown. These shops. I look like the tourist with the camera out. I guess I am. <laughs> but I really look the part. This is where you're nearly get run over on the street. We try not to get run over on the street. I have really hard trouble trying to stop this thing. Inside a local downtown store, the Daisano Mall, the old Daisano Mall. Very typical. And look around, a bakery over here, you know, and so on. Or the customer service section right here. This camera started. She's looking for me. I'm gonna lose my little package. We're getting a little bit more traffic build up here. Just thought I'd show us some of it. We walk across. Stores down there. Right at the very end, you'll see Jesus is Lord. See that? Jesus is Lord. You probably can't see it on the camera, but right on the end of this street, that's what it says. Pretty cool. This is one of the congested place, <laughs> congested road. Yes, very congested. We just left the donut place. Yeah. And now we're headed out to the main road. You can see Jollibee in the far distance. And even on the Sunday. You can turn left here now. Oh, we don't go down the congested way. We don't turn left. Just showing you some of the Philippines. This is the downtown area from around the Valencia City area, right here? Yes. We are turning to a quiet street, sort of. People everywhere, as you notice, everywhere. Vehicles everywhere. But cool trees. Yeah. Cool trees. Even in the downtown chaos, there's cool trees. Today is Sunday again. I'm repeating because there's not much traffic today. <laughs> yeah, because of the weather. Yeah. Well, cloudy. Keep yes. people away. It's potential rain. Is that what you mean? Yeah, because it's raining this morning, right? <clears throat> yeah, so people stay in because of that? Yeah, I guess. That's interesting. It's also interesting to see on signs like you see here with the gas station, it says fuels. They add an S. <laughs> Why? It's funny. It used to be there's no, no S. No, just fuel. And in yeah. fact, we don't even see a sign that says fuel, really. Well, I guess you might sometimes, but generally, if you do, it would just be fuel, not fuels. It's interesting. I see a lot of these kind of spelling differences. I won't call them mistakes, because I guess you guys, it, maybe that's how you say it in your language, right? Like you say yeah. fuels in your language, maybe. I don't know. Language, you would not have this. They said they have many fuels. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely interesting. So this is the dreaded left turn. Let's see if I can do it. Is this the left turn here? It is, right? Yes. Oh, I 
eight meter at his left turn. There's Jolly Bee over there in the corner. And now, well, the traffic's not too you bad. You said you love Philippines. I do love the Philippines. Uh -huh. The left turn. Today is really good though. Look at that. Smooth, smooth, yes. smooth. You did a good job. Yay. <laughs> you didn't stop. Oh, you see? There's another one. Oh. So fast, yeah. So you often see these riding around here in the Philippines, the Bao Baos, I think they're called Bao Baos. Just thought I'd give you an up close personal look. See what they're like, you know? This is the side angle right here. It's the driver. The seat. Driving uh, setup, you got your back seat right here. Uh, there's no real trunk. You can put a few things like, you know, bottled water, a few groceries right here in the back. And it's the seat, you got little doors that, that open and close right here. Kind of cute, actually. There you go. I think, from what I understand, you can finance these for like. If I got a, if I got my details right from what I heard, like something like 50 bucks a month or something, uh, something like that. Anyway, it's pretty reasonable. So if you would like to have one of these, it's kind of what it's like. Show the back. There's no real trunk or anything here. I guess that's the little engine on the back. But you got your cover. You know, nice little thing to drive. It's the front, your old front wheel. wheels kind of cute that's what they look like from front view so that's your bow bow in the Philippines and the other thing of course are motorcycles as you can see over here lots and lots and lots of motorcycles and that's so common so common and this is the place where we are that uh, service lots of different things They're called M4 so uh, like we got a TV that we got here we decided to finance one of our TVs and this is where we are. This is the main road here across from the Yamaha dealership. You can find these guys if you're ever interested. So today is Monday. So it's the day after Sunday. <laughs> In case you weren't sure. Yeah, of course. And I was just showing the Bao Bao and uh, Mahal was in MCOR, that place I was showing on the video. So when she came out, and, she, and, I, and I mentioned to her, I was showing the Bao Bao, and she said, did you tell everyone what I thought about the Bao Bao? So you can go ahead and tell them. Yeah, because I told her before we purchased the Bigo, we go, this is the Bao Bao, and I want to uh, have a Bao Bao instead of a car, because for me, it's not practical during that time. Like, I can manage with him. He looks like my mom. I can manage, <laughs> sorry. The thing is, I want Bao Bao. Because it's more cheaper, more convenient for me. I told him that I can be your driver and you're my passenger. <laughs> but now that you got the car, are you happy that you didn't get the Bao Bao? Like, what's your feeling on that? I'm happy that we have Vigo. You happy we got the car? Yeah. Instead of the Bao Bao? Yeah. Okay. So I just want to get clear on that. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And you said they're cheap now. I, I gave my guess at how much they were when I was showing them. So do you remember exactly how much they are? It's less than 100000 for the second hand. Yeah, per month what was that? Uh, um, do you remember? Mm, Look at this traffic. Look, I'm yeah. in the right lane. There's a guy facing me, stopped with hazards on. This is crazy, crazy. driving in the Philippines. Yeah. This is the right lane, by the way. It's not a, a side lane. Uh -huh. Oh, 
Relax anyway. mo ha. <laughs> I always uh, say that to him because he always complain about our oh, this is crazy. our road rolls here. It is crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, know. That's crazy. Anyway, so you're about to tell me how much was that a month they say? Uh, it depends. Maybe around 2000 or so that's 2,000 pesos, so that is about is... 50 Canadian bucks a month. Yeah. And that's what I said. I said I thought it was around 50 bucks a month. So that's, that was pretty close, I think. Yeah. So she didn't get her baba, but she got a wego. Yeah. And so she's here happy. we go. Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> the end. It's just that uh, for me, because for me it's really unique, like. Um, your driver is a Filipina and your passenger is a foreigner, the two <laughs> foreigner, big guy foreigner. It's really amazing. It kind of embarrassing for me. And weird. And weird, yeah. <laughs> no, it's it? not embarrassing. Uh, let's be more, for me, around. it's more practical. For me, I don't mind as long as you're comfortable. But anyway, well, since comfortable we, driving get, the we, go. we get the WeGo. Yeah, okay, here we go. We go all the way. Yeah. And we're going around the obstacles again. Yeah. So you can see the traffic uh, in the last video on Sunday was not as much traffic, but today, Monday, I think you can see the traffic picking up a, a little more on the roads today. Seems to be a little busier than yesterday, don't you think so? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> She's not sure. I'm not sure. I guess so. Oh, you know why here in the Philippines there's a lot of vehicle. The problem here in the Philippines is one of the problem actually is people um, buy or purchase car uh, without garage. That's why most of the vehicle uh, it's out of parking. <laughs> They are parking illegally because the owner doesn't have a garage but they purchase a car. That's one of the problem. Especially if you're in the city like Manila. There's a lot of cars. Manila is already a congested city because of that. Like they have more cars, even one or two cars, but they don't have a garage because of the area where they live. No space for vehicle. So one of the things, as we're driving now, one of the things that comes to mind that I kind of miss from back home, when I'm driving like this, we're going on a little bit of a longer trip right now, is that yeah. our, uh, back home, you get a, a little craving for the munchies. You know there's something up ahead that you can pull in and, and you know get yourself a snack or something. But here, once you get out of the main city, like we're leaving Valencia and heading more into the province area, once you leave the city area, it's like, if you didn't get your snack or your munchies, you don't get much of anything along the way. Yes. So you, you got nothing to look forward to with the smaller yes. little so stores. so bring your snacks, especially if you have a long ride. Yeah, I always get this little sad feeling. If I don't have a snack with me and we're leaving the city, I'm like, oh yeah, there's nothing ahead for me to pull in and get. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's back home, you know, you know, there's something up ahead you can pull in and get something along the way, you know. So I kind of miss that part. Yeah. You don't miss it, do you? No. <laughs> because for me, since I already know the area, okay, I don't mind if I'm hungry. So. Yeah, we can talk about congestion. Know, this place this... is congested. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I don't know. Well, straight ahead. You got everything. Like, is this just the obstacle course thing? What is this? Um, I don't know what happened. Hmm. Maybe it's just a crosswalk. Oh, yeah, because this one is school. Oh, yeah. Yes. These, these yeah, are the kinds oh, of things. Oh, and there is one. Oh, truck broke down. Yes. Right in front of the cross. Yes. Crossing. That's why. All right, back on the road again. Yeah, and you need to be more careful while driving because there's a lot of schools at the highway. 